so here we going to discuss about pauling scale that is the scale to measurement the electronegativity so this scale is based on bond energy data and it is widely accepted and its scale gives electronegativity difference value of bonded atoms so when atoms are bonded this scale gives the value of electronegativity let's say a bond we have a is bonded with a shared electron with b so here the value of x b the value of electronegativity difference x b minus x a their modulus will be equals to actually generally a here it is hydrogen and that's value is fixed that is 2.1 on pauling scale so like we are talking about example hcl hydrogen uh, chloride so that is equals to 2.1 and that is equals to 2. Point, uh, here 0.208 root over uh, delta so the delta is ionic resonance energy this is ionic resonance energy so x b minus x a equals to 0. 0.2 8 root over delta so what here delta means okay so here the delta value is equals to bond energy of a b minus under root over the bond energy of a, a multiplied by the bond energy of b b so that's how the a delta value we write and we know the unit will be so here in here we have to fill the unit in the bond energy data are in kilo joule per mole so here we have to put the data here bond energy in kilo joule per mole so here we can calculate the value of delta and, and then we may put the value of delta here so we will getting the difference of the electronegative difference between a and b that is important here we will be getting the electronegativity difference so when we are using the bond energy in kilo calorie per mole so here uh, the value x b minus x h that will be equals to 0 0.102 root over delta so we know how to calculate delta but here we are putting the value of bond energy in kilo calorie per mole so here electronegativity value obtained from polling scale relative value here the electronegativity on polling scale are relative with hydrogen okay that is and that value is equals to 2.1 so now on polling scale fluorine we get f minus fluorine atom not f minus the fluorine atom is uh, most electro negative so here the value here is 4 and hydrogen atom is least electronegative uh, electro that is least electro negative or we, we can say it is also a non metal so here the hydrogen is uh, least electronegative 
and its value on polling scale is found to be 2.1 so all the rest element exist in periodic table the value of electronegativity lies between the range 2.1 to 4.0 so here the order of electronegative value of element of non metal okay so for the element of non metal it should be non metal okay that's that's why that's how it must be forming the covalent bond okay metal do not form that that we, we do not consider in polling scale so value of and uh, non metals on polling scale so element of non metal the electronegative value on polling scale so what we found the most electronegative we found fluorine that was 4.0 after fluorine it is oxygen which is 3.5 and after oxygen it is nitrogen which is 3.0 and nitrogen is approximately equals to like chlorine that is also considered as 3.0 so we compare between nitrogen and chlorine which has more electronegative so n has more electronegative due to its a uh, small size it has a smaller size than chlorine so it is a uh, put at a uh, before than chlorine but uh, on the scale it is same but it is uh, if we compare both nitrogen has small size so more electron pulling tendency than bromine and and we if, if we after bromine like uh, af, uh, we come to in the end like carbon carbon it is 2.5 so now after carbon it is that is also equals to sulfur sulfur we also put 2.5 now because of size carbon front come in front and that is iodine we also consider it is 2.5 again phosphorus we again consider as 2.15 now after phosphorus we the last we consider is hydrogen that is 2.1 so this is the whole fluorine to hydrogen and here carbon so we, we, we may adjust the rest of the elements in their periodic line from periodic table non metals we may arrange into it so this is the overview of the polling scale how do we know the value that we come came in polling scale we may need to know the bond energy the bond dissociation energy that's how we need to know the bond dissociation energy so that's how we uh, deal with the polling scale